Hey guys, here with Louisa, and we are going to watch some Bill Burr. I love Bill, he's a nice guy, um, but there's this video that everybody's reacting to, and they sent me a thing, they said, can you guys react to this? So I thought, I'm going to check it out, you know, I'm a sociologist, so we're going to really like <laughs> take a look at his behavior. All right, all right, and guys, if you're new, make sure you press that subscribe button. These videos take me a long time to do, so please subscribe. And if you want to check out my friend Louisa, she's in the description. But right now, we get to see what we have to say about Bill Burr and women. Very exciting. A couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels, and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes, right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. They had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, why is that? Uh, that is a penumbra. I have, I have no idea. Literally, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets! <laughs> Nobody is going to women's soccer games! You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena, 1,500 people show up, that's not a good night! The promoter lost his fucking ass on that gig! I'm not saying no professional female athlete, Serena Williams, the women in the UFC, you know? Nobody's watching your fucking sport. And then you're going to come and you're going to get mad at fucking men. They keep doing that shit. Why are you yelling at us? It's not our fucking job. It's not my fucking job to give a fuck about women's soccer, okay? I have men's sport to pay attention to. This is it's your bullshit, right? Dude, look at the WNBA. Dude, nobody in the WNBA got COVID. Murderer from 
are coming through the fucking window. And I have to watch WNBA games for you? Yes. Like, when are you going to pick up your end of the couch? Oh, boy. What did you think? Well, I mean, I think he's got some valid points. I mean, there are, like, less fans in the stands for women's sports. And I think yeah. they get underrepresented in billboards. I mean, I think they get underrepresented um, in, in ads and people are you know, less talking about them. Um, I also think it's changing a little bit. I mean, I, I, I've been seeing recently all this stuff about you know, this one basketball coach. She's like high style, high fashion, and she's like, you know, uh, making all the headlines and making waves because, you know, she's bringing a different level of enthusiasm to the court side. Uh, so I think that, you know, feminism, actually is the right word. I mean, there's a lot to be said for how the world looks at stuff like that. So, while he's a little crass and different, I mean, there's some fun choice there. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I think some feminists were offended because a lot of times you can like look at comedy and be offended by it, but then it's uh, you're also seeing another side to it where it's like, oh, why are women watching the Kardashians so much or desperate, you know, not Desperate Housewives, Beverly Hills Housewives, all those all those shows. Well, sometimes it's what you relate to, and uh, a lot of times it's easier to look at the Kardashians and the Housewives. And say, Teach, you know, cooking <laughs> or having a session at a kitchen table, and those are things that are familiar to most modern women right now. Whereas the average numbers would say that, like, most women, like, more women have put on makeup or like made a bun cake than have like played professional sports or even played sports in general, just from a numbers perspective. So I think, you know, data doesn't lie. So you have to like look at the, the numbers from that as well. And, to his point, like fans in the stand sell seats and sponsorship dollars drive fans to the seat. So I think, you know, his video also is a little bit of a wake up call to action saying like, hey, Nike, hey, yeah. like, you know, big sports, you know, leaders, like you gotta like take some interest in women because, you know, it could be glamorous. Yeah, and I think now more kids are playing sports than back, I guess, uh, you know, when my parents were, were growing up. Now it's a thing that they have, you know, sports teams for girls. So I think it is changing, but it's kind of, you know, it's gonna it's gonna take some time. And now we're more aware of it. So thank you, Bill Burr. Yeah. So you know, Tommy has a unique place to like raise some powerful points that might need address. So you know, yeah. I love yeah. it. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you press that subscribe button. Lauren's a woman, so yeah, subscribe yeah, to her. Subscribe. Her video should have just as many as Bill Burr. Yes. Yes. I mean, for real. Come on. All right. And uh, check out Louisa Eiler in my description. We have other videos, so make sure you stay tuned. I'll put them on the screen. Uh, if you want to see more, she can tell us a secret in the, the next video. So that's going to be really, really cool. Let us know in the comments what you want us to react to, because she's going to come back here to more stuff so let us know and guys i have a patreon i want my lauren check it out uh see these videos before they go live Bye. thanks bill